It's Wednesday, and it's time for Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. And uh, it is uh, time for some more playthroughs of the 2018 Atari Award nominees. It's all uh, about the Atari Awards. It is. For, for at least this month, right? Well, um, I think I'll be able to wrap them up in next episode. Oh, cool. So finish all that up. So it took four episodes. There's a lot of nominees. Yeah, did you did you play some more stuff on Friday? I did. Any, we'll be... any gems that popped up? Oh, they're any? all amazing. I mean, they're all, yeah. <laughs> um, what we played on Friday was all the works in progress games so they're all pff, oh, yeah, that's they're an outstanding bunch of monsters games. oh it's yeah like... crazy so the 2019 <laughs> homebrew awards are going to be like pff, crazy if all those get finished plus any others that are in the works or brand new ones it's going to be out of control next year's awards you know i mean the the talent that is going into these games Welcome everybody yeah, to the hey everyone. show. We got like um, an Impaler and I suppose to, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm so happy that you're you're <laughs> yeah. back. I was thinking that man. I was like, where's I suppose I haven't seen him in like it almost feels like a month or two, but I don't know. So it's it, good to have you he back was away on the for chat. A while. Yeah. yeah, he came back last Friday. He was uh, he was ill, sick oh, for a little man, while. Oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm I'm really happy that he's uh, feeling better enough to come back on the stream. And then I'll just Mr. see Mr. Fix, Fix and Paler, Thrust Twenty Six, man, uh, uh, Ground, Ground Trooper. Trooper. Uh, what else do we got? That's it for now. That are typing around on the chat. Um, he says, "I don't know what happened. I missed your last appearance. I, I missed. I missed your <laughs> your presence too." Yes, and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers as well. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I supposed to a lot of the same names. Dude, he says, "Um, up to seventy three people have voted so far." Oh, wow, that's a lot of people. How do you know that? <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to check into that. <laughs> not supposed to know that. Very suspicious thrust. Hmm, maybe it does show just that. I must, it must. Go ahead. Uh, I suppose to Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, RC70, Shazam 1970, Tiki Dan K, Train Tech 86, and you can subscribe and support the show as well if you have amazon prime and link it up to twitch prime and click subscribe and uh his alcoholics anonymous group tells him oh <laughs> see they are big blabbermouths they are you're not I supposed mean, to talk about what happens around that circle no trust. it's anonymous that's you know, the point that's, <laughs> there's a, a bond there's a sacred trust in there to not be revealing things um so we have some mail here today Oh yeah, some good up. stuff. Dude. Yeah, first we're gonna. I already opened this, but rip. <laughs> oh. uh, this one is another in the series of tabletop games, new tabletop games. Wow, this is Tetris, dude. and they are in the line of these little guys here. Yeah, when you had your retro gaming night, I remember that was this kind of console was one of the prizes. Yes, I gave away. I think it was Asteroids and Centipede or something. These are really cool because they're not just. We um, need a camera operator to just pan. I know, the camera pan up there, do an insert okay. shot. <laughs> um, these are really cool. Oops, turned it on. Um, because they are not just emulations of the old arcade systems, they are reimagining wow. of them, and they are like the old tabletops. Let me just get. So they're one of sort of ones. in the homebrew spirit, is what you're suggesting. <sighs> kind of. They're kind of like ports. Um, if anybody knows about these tabletop games from the 80s that wow. Coleco made, um, they are based on like tile-based movements where it's not smooth scrolling graphics, um, where each point on the map, say Miss Pac-Man, there can be a Pac-Man there, a power pellet, or a ghost. So how they did it is they try to, they kind of circle, they had the Pac-Man, and then the pellet in front of them, and then the ghost around it. So you could light up any one of those at any given time on a space. And then each space has that same exact thing on it. So you can move chunk, chunk from space wow. to say space. And there's a line that's come out that is exactly like that. So it pays homage to the old school ones. Now there's ones that are just emulators that just take the arcade game and slap it in here. And it's you just playing the arcade game, except really tiny. But these are kind of reimaginings of the arcade game uh, ports. And this is a brand new one. 
Tetris and I saw the video I'm like oh that's that's actually a really good one because it's just blocks moving yeah, down man, I love Tetris actually one I remember yeah I used to listen to podcasts and play Tetris because like oh when yeah. you listen to pot like when you play games and I was getting pretty good at it actually but each Tetris is like slightly different because some of them are a little bit harder than others right um but I, and have you ever seen those like master level Tetris players who like they just like <sighs> well in Portland they have the world Tetris championship really and I go every year to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, where it has it there. So the best of the best play. Have you ever checked it out? It's like and boom, seen like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And it's, it's almost insane. automatic. I don't know how they calculate that stuff. It's insane. They know the board. I, I guess they know the board. They know the pieces they need. They know how everything fits with They're every not even kind of thinking. design. They're just like it's, it's automatic. It's just it, yeah. I, I their minds. They've done it so much, right? Their their mind. It's just an automatic thing. Boom, boom, and they know how to spin it quick because it tells you which one's next. Yeah, the fur ball appeared for a second. Come here. Yeah, Tari. man. Tari was chilling. Come on. Dude, is he going to... Oh, see, no. this is the thing. Cats, the <laughs> second you want anything. a cat to do something, man, it's not no. going to happen. So Tetris is a perfect thing for that because the blocks don't move smoothly. They go... Chum, 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 oh, totally. So uh, this is a perfect port. Um, so they have, so far, asteroids, Cubert, Frogger, Centipede, Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Joust, Tetris. I did buy Galaga, which is not one of these lines, and this is kind of a port of the arcade. Yeah, so, yeah. Because it's, Im it's impossible to make Galaga like that. <laughs> impossible. It sounds like them kind of the most classic of the yeah. classics. Like it's kind of like the 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 pop versions of of retro games. Yeah. Which is awesome because there you know there's something to be said about them. And uh, if you're going to get into them and you want to buy them, I would stay away from Joust. It's a terrible port. It's <laughs> impossible to figure out what's going on. Imagine flying around when it's only like this. That'd be awful. It's impossible. Um, everything else is pretty good. Um, yeah, all the rest I would recommend except for Joust. But if you want to buy them all, then you have to get, get Joust. And Tetris is good. Some of my first consoles were Game Boys. When I was very oh. little, because Game Boys just started to be a thing. Such a great form factor, and, and they have to rework how games work in a small screen, and, and it's amazing what they what they did with that oh, yeah. system. And, and then, like, going all the way up to... And it, what what was interesting about Game Boys is that you couldn't... There was no light on the screen oh, God. with the early ones. So you used to have to buy a little clip-on light <laughs> yes. that you could, like, shine to play it. And, and then... made a magnifying glass, too, so it made it bigger, <laughs> like, straight out of uh, Brazil. You it know, was... the movie Brazil, where they have these magnifying glasses. It's like future retro tech, where screens never got bigger. Oh, so funny. And um, I played some retro games on Game Boy, actually, because it was, it was easy to port them over. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, simple graphics. Totally, and it's basically an NES controller on a thing. And yep. then when they got to kind of the Game Boy SP, Game Boy Advanced SP, yeah. had a backlit screen. And it was Thank like, God. it was like literally night and day, because we used to just screw around with like... And the coolest game I ever played had a, a solar panel on it. And it was called, oh, I can't remember what it was called, but how it worked was that if you played it during the day, it was day, and you played it at night, it was wow, night. Wow, I've it never was, heard of that. It was, it was probably the coolest thing. I've never seen it done before. So it doesn't power anything. It just indicates to the game, off or on, day totally. or night. And there was, so you could shine a light on it to become but daytime. It, you, you could, want. but you'd have to be a hell of a light. And the cool oh. thing about it was that there was missions you can only do in the day, and some you can only do at night. Oh, and wow. So my sister definitely did the thing. She basically basically took all the lights in the house <laughs> and shined them all on so she could do it. I can't wow. remember what it's called. I think it was Golden Sun. That's what was what it was called. If I remember. I've never heard of but that. But I, I just if we want to talk about interesting like handheld consoles, that was the most innovative thing. I've never seen anything like that before. Wow. No, that. I've never heard of that. <laughs> no. That's really cool. It's Japan, right? Japan definitely oh, yeah, comes yeah. up with some cool stuff. And I got this. Well, I actually picked it up. Um... Got it the other day, and finally, we can show you what the oh. awards look like. These are the physical awards for the award show on February 23rd at noon, the 2018 Atari Awards. So we're going to open them up and take a look at what they look like. Now, um, I designed these in conjunction with the company, so I sent them a design, and and I was like, oh, is this going to work? Can you cut it out like this? Because I wanted the Atari symbol in there yeah, somehow. Absolutely. And I sent it to them, and I my design was like, it was okay. 
And then they sent me back a revised design because they know what they can cut out properly. And I was like, oh my God, that's a thousand times better. Um, so this is the box of the awards. Uh, this one's for best programming. So let's just open this up, which actually we're playing best programming today. Oh, so amazing. That's a good pick. <laughs> you, that's the first I, category. You literally reached it and grabbed a random one that was not planned. So let's see if I can get this on camera. I'm going to hide my face just because I know how this goes. So let's get this down and try and get it straight. Everything's backwards. There we go. I'll tilt it. Everybody can see it. So I thought they uh, turned out beautiful. And you could see them at the uh, the pre-show graphic there. So oh, man. take a look at that. You can see the... Atari symbols worked into the base of it. Absolutely. And it's just gorgeous. And and this little step they put into it on the sides to differentiate that, I didn't have that in there. Yeah. So they really know their graphics. It's a big deal. And it's kind of, it's a nice size too. Like it's classy. You can it is. Kinda like high, you could like put it on your shelf or like. It'll fit in a lot of places. Put it on your dashboard, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was bigger. It oh, always God. looks bigger. Always looks bigger on TV. Any photo go. of anything looks bigger. It's like when you go to like uh, look on Kijiji or something for <laughs> like to right. rent a place, and you're like, look at this massive 700 square, and then you actually get in there, and you're like, oh, they just really wide lens in the corner. Yep. Plus, <laughs> um, I'm financing these out of my pocket, so <laughs> hence the size. That is true. They're not uh, going to be one foot tall. Um, yeah, in your fish tank. They'd be totally fine in the fish tank. That's be true, actually. Because um, they are laser etched, so that's not going to go oh, away. Oh, really? Laser etched? Yeah, so it's just like, zzz, cut out all these, uh, all the words on it, and they're acrylic. You know, just wash, clean it off every once in a while in, in your fish tank. I don't know why you put it in your fish tank, but uh, your fish need to enjoy the awards as that's well. Right. Um, so those uh, will be given out on February 23rd to the uh, highest voted in each of the categories. And we're gonna continue playing on the categories today. Um, actually added one more in, um, because after I went through them, because we're not gonna play doubles, because we played some of them yeah. before, and some games are nominated in multiple categories. That's so right. We're not gonna keep playing the same game over and over again, every time it comes up in each category. So we're just gonna be playing the new ones. So the categories today that we're going to be playing is pe Best Programming nominees, cool. uh, Best Graphics nominees, Best Music and Sound nominees, and I'm gonna we're going to throw in some demos there, Who's too. Who's the sound every person once in a who while. works on sound? Oh, it's stream. lots. Oh, it's I supposed to. Hey, perfect stream. For, I, I thought that I just didn't want to screw it up. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. My no, instinct was to. it was I supposed to, but so I So he wanna... works on a lot of, uh, uh, on the games and music, uh, music and sound effects for a lot of yeah. games. Um, so he is up for nomination. Yeah, man. Yeah. So when we're playing those sound ones, if you can let us know in the chat, like what stands out to you, what you hear. Yeah, exactly. It'd be great for it to we can get a little education on how that goes if you're up for it. I yeah, know, you know, or you can just hang out and watch the stream. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, because we, also we don't play a lot of demos on the show because they're not interactive. Yeah. So you know, you'd put on a demo and just sit and watch it. But this is the opportunity to do it. So I'm gonna go. We're gonna go back and forth between the demos and the games so Perfect. we can sprinkle them in so it's not too checkerboarded yeah exactly <laughs> um let's see so we're going to start with the best programming there were 12 nominees mm -hmm. for best programming i wanted 10 nominees minimum so when there were ties we had to push it into you know 11 12 13 makes sense but so this got up to 12 um, so for best programming, the, we're going to go in alphabetical order, uh, Apollyon by Fair Jana Zoltan, member Atarian. We have played Apollyon because we played the Atari basic games on the second show. Apollyon, I played the we, first one. Yeah, we, the, yeah, yeah. So the we alien played. one, right? That's right. Yeah, so we, we did play that one. That was... Um, and Balloon Trip, which we played by Blue Swimmer. Dungeon 2 Solstice by David Weevil, a.k.a. S0C7, which we played. And now the first one we have not played yet is Fear of the Dark. Cool. Um, by Fair Janis Zoltan, who is nominated for a billion things, <laughs> uh, a.k.a. Member Atarian. So we're going to switch over to that. And this is up for best programming. 
Now, I want to explain what best programming means. Yeah. Because there's best homebrew and best programming. And some people are like, what's the difference between mm -hmm. best homebrew and best programming? And I want to relate it in terms of films. <laughs> yes. Because that might man. be easier <laughs> for us to explain and for you to understand. So let's say you're watching the Oscars and there's best picture. And best picture would be equivalent to best homebrew. And the best picture is an overall everything about it so just kind of put it all together it's it's the mm, the essence of the film you know everything that goes into it the acting the 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 cinematography the sound the music the the directing everything that goes into it and that is the equivalent of best homebrew because that's you know it's the game everything now best programming what i the closest i think we could come to it is best director this is the person that, you know, maybe came up with the concept who is also like actually coding it, putting it all together. This is how it plays. This is the ideas behind it. This is the, the concept, the person who, who brings it all together. Well, not, well, kind of has the idea and puts it all together. I'm kind of mixing up a little bit it's of okay. producer and director, but no, it's, it's I would say mostly it's the director, the person ever, with the idea. Did you ever see that movie The Revenant? Yes. One yes. best director but did not win best picture. That's very seldom. And I when I watched it it made sense cuz the movie itself is just watching Leo eat like uh -huh. organs and kind of be cold. like it's a weird movie but yeah. it looks amazing it's so well put together but there's yeah. something that just doesn't click with that film as a whole exactly but, but you look at it and go wow how, how can you sustain an actor by himself hardly talking for two hours i think it was fairly long oh yeah uh, and you go well the director that's all the director you know making this work getting people in those seats to watch two hours of of what person in the snow <laughs> just <laughs> grunting and walking around and fighting bears. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And so like, I think about that where it's like, you know, and it, it is just those that duality where sometimes yeah. there's something that's like, cause yeah, also too, I guess it's like with movies and games and music, it's that rough moment where like, when you ask someone, what do you think? It's either that moment of like, I liked it or like, <laughs> mm. Yeah. That's about the, that's about as much that most people give, and I guess the best homebrew would be something that someone would look at and go, "Yeah, as a, as a whole, oh, yeah. it all adds up to an amazing game. The graphics, the just... sound, the the idea behind it, the programming, the the box art, um, the name. I don't know. Everything adds up to an awesome game. Like there's no real weak points there. That's right. But these are these are particularly these are outstanding for. The programming behind it, the the ideas, the way a person moves or jumps or, you know, that it's, it's just the basic core of the game is really awesome. And there's there's some games that are nominated for best sound and music, but overall, you know, it didn't make it to best homebrew. So, you know, it's good to have these subcategories because not, not every game is going to shine as a whole, That's but right. maybe somebody did the best music ever this awesome sound effect that's never been done it's like it's like or this, this best graphics it's that like are some like of those john carpenter movies we watched where we're yeah. like this is the best music ever and it's just Jeff. but it's but as a film but it's, it's like, like eh. it's kind of cool <laughs> but not amazing you know it's how it goes sometimes exactly so let's take a look at we'll switch it over to the what game it, system something here. dark yeah we'll get in there fear of the dark yeah. by fair jenna zoltan I can say that by off by heart now. Um, so this was Batari Basic. So go there. Yeah, you got it. This one here. Up. Oh, yep. There you go. Wow. So best programming. So Brian Mathern put these oh, directories together. So it's like everything's in each directory. Oh, thanks, Brian. So Fear of the Dark. Down, down there. Good. I believe this is also up for music. And I know Fair Janice Zoltan loves Talk about John metal Carpenter, music. man. Like, yeah, that's very, very John Carpenter. We got some Halloween. <laughs> that's right. Um, so he, he has actually put out a, recently a lot of metal con, metal cover, metal cover music converted to Atari music. Wow. And it works really well because of the harshness of the sound of the Atari sound, yeah. some of them. 
<laughs> oh, Maiden. So this is an Iron Maiden song. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. So this is one of the, one of those games oh, that I suppose to, this is little little opponent. Oh, oh, oh Blast Load, a lot of B B games very prolific was on his third one, I think. Oh, his first. Yeah. Um this is one of those games where you play in the dark. And those kind of games frustrate frustrate me to no end. I it's love very games. Very difficult. I played a game called Amnesia on Steam. That's so it's good. Down a little bit. It's one of my favorite games, actually. It's Amnesia. So the, the dark for it. Set. Oh. And also, what Vera Joel, Joel, Oh my God. Vera Janice Zoltan is also really good at kind of cutscenes and intros. You can't study the dark. Oh, I'm so into this. This is great. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, so I can jump? Okay, You can cool. jump. You can also... S There's bad guys. But you can Rip. also s throw your light. Whoa. Okay, is that just, like, already dead? So use a button and throw your light so you can kind of get a sense oh of where God. to go. And up is jump. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. Okay. And you can, you can jump through. Whoa. I think I see some people... Holy cow, this is cool. <laughs> it's such... Oh my god. Now you can see why he's up for best program, because this concept is so unique of navigating your way through a maze. Whoa! Okay, so there we go. You gotta use your light. Yeah, I was getting cocky. I was like, check out oh, what's it's ahead. all good. You Wasn't get one it? life, I yeah. think. Rip. Is that... No, no. Oh, I, you're still there. Fully, like, yeah, so there's, so there's like... the ledge, so you gotta get up there. Oh, you gotta jump over. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ah! And, and I I'm think being... if you slowly pursued, I believe? I think that seems about right. That totally feels right. Ah, Fear of the Dark is one, one of Iron Man Maiden's best songs, and this 2600 version is great, too. So this, the name of the the game is based come on, on, come on buddy. Iron Maiden. Oh, God. No. I think you gotta jump off that ledge. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Ah! Oh, uh, uh, uh. Come <laughs> oh, on. You made okay, it. I made it. Holy okay, shit. Okay, careful. Careful, careful, oh, careful, uh, careful. Uh, uh, Can't just go anywhere. Okay, you... okay. Oh, you made it. <laughs> Stressing me out. I don't know if there's infinite continues for this game. There, we'll find out. Oh, it's 90. There's 99 and there's 3. So okay. I don't know what those mean, but they... Oh. Whoa, okay. I just got hit by someone. And now that's you're down to 15, health. so it's health. Maybe. And you do have lives. So okay. Okay, okay. I I'm like... guessing that's a pit. That Whoa, you happen. can see him behind me. You're going to go in the pit. You're going in. You're going oh, out of pit! Oh, 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 okay, it's so hard to jump. Okay. okay. Oh, all plus in Stella if you want to cheat, yeah, because it gives away the whole map. Because it gets rid of the darkness. Nobody wants to cheat. It's the whole point. It's like, hey, do you want to play Afraid of the Dark in the Light? No! <laughs> it's coming. Oh, 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 oh. It's really hard to, like, jump in this game. It's like there's no, like, running jump. Okay. Yeah, but maybe I can jump on this thing. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ah! Oh. oh, it's four. Oh, it's tries. Maybe it's tries. That second number. It's letting me know. Is it going up? Oh, my God. Yep, five. Oh, okay, how many lives you've used? Whoa. Up and over. Up and over. It, 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 Maybe it, you can't. Maybe it, you have to go on the second one. It feels like it's hard to jump and move at the same time. <laughs> Is it? Like it, It's it's a little odd, oh, because you kind of like... See, you give it a go. You can see, sort of see what, what I've been dealing with here. That's cool. It is. Because there's like, it's almost... There's no real diagonals. Yeah, that's the, that's the interesting part about it. So... Hmm. See what I mean? It's like... Oh, he's coming. Oh, oh God. Away with you! Oh, that doesn't help. In... And I'm dead. What the hell? Yeah, you can't jump very high. No, and it's like if you could actually kind of get a run at it, but that's okay. It's... No, I haven't seen any diagonal jumping at all. Yeah, you like see, it's doesn't... like it's like you can kind of jump up and down. Oh, it kind of moves you. Oh, that's a kind little of bit. If you hold the diagonal, it jumps and moves you tiny bit. So if this doesn't work, what do you do? Uh, Maybe it's right at the beginning. Yeah, it must be something like right at the top. You know what I mean? Like. Guy coming for me. I like that he's just slowly pursuing you. It's gotta be this one. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, yeah, dude, how did I it. make that? Oh, no. Rip. Uh, uh, maybe it's down there. Maybe that's where you have to do it. At least it's a fair system where you just can keep trying. And I like that it kind of lets you know, like, how many you've done. Yeah. So, I want to get up there. I know, it's tricky stuff. Whoa! Oh, you can move around a little bit around you. And That's you, cool. And you can throw it. Oh, somehow I died. I don't know if we'll get past this. It's tricky stuff. Like, like how do you get up there? Up! Up! No offense to Are You Afraid of the Dark, but we're understanding why this is nominated for best programming and not the best game. Well, that's not insulting. <laughs> but, yeah. Because this is insane. Like, this is so cool. But, yeah. But, but I, but I want to oh. I want to be able to jump. Get up there. I know. I wanted, like, a diagonal jump. It's, like, jump. so... Yeah, it's, like, because this whole idea is amazing. Like, I love, I love the darkness. I love the pursuit. I'm gonna die. I love all this stuff. <laughs> oh, what the? How did I get down here? I think you just fell. I must have fallen. Just Going left, it. yeah. Here, you can try okay. once more. Okay. The intro music is Wasted Years from Iron Maiden, uh, Impaler says. that we haven't been trying this, but it's going to be as yeah. aggressive as you possibly can be. Oh, you can't do it. Come on. Oh, come on, friends. Come on. I was able to get up to that one, yeah. but not that one. Yeah, oh, see? see, it's just, and then now it's like, rip, because it's got, it's got number 13. Think, I think it has something to do with that one, like getting up there, but I don't think you can get up to the next one, but like, there's no diagonal jumping that it's I can so hard. find. Like, it doesn't seem to work. Does anybody, can you do diagonal jumping? Maybe we should read the answer. Thrust 26 said that's from Halloween. Something for, one of these is from Halloween? So is, is he, oh god, see I got it, but then I didn't, doesn't work. You don't get to come back to life immediately, but like the, the movement and the animation is really, really good. Like just out the, the concept alone is yes. so cool. Yeah. I think if the, if the movement, if the jumping, if there was diagonals, like better jumping. Yeah, it's just sort of like a little bit more. Let's see if there's jumping. Load up the instructions here. And yeah, we got like a discussion about like music. Yeah. People saying it's like Iron Maiden, Halloween. I heard Halloween when I first heard it, but is it that Maiden was riffing off of Halloween? Because uh, it says the joystick controls a young girl up, down, left, or right. You can go down? Well, oh, you can duck. So far, that hasn't really come into play. Well, yeah, there might be like. Oh. Uh, first score is your health. Um, but only from bats and final boss and, and falling drains completely. Fire kills you just by touching. Um, after okay. you beat the campaign, the Somehow game changes I got to survival up. mode automatically. Uh, basically, there are two modes. One is called campaigns, one survival. The campaign is a fixed, more detailed levels and has a specific goal. In this case, the game counts a number of deaths. So at the end, oh, okay. So we're playing, we're playing the campaign. After you beat the campaign, the game changes to survival mode oh automatically. Oh god. Yeah, we would not survive <laughs> survival In that mode, mode, you have to wait a lot before you can play. The CPU generates a stage, simulates it if it is beatable, and then places the bat. Wow, that's amazing. Whoa, okay, so I got up here. Step. It's too far. Like, there's no... So, 
Oh, so I can see and then I fall immediately. <laughs> I can't really run at it. Okay. There's no running, there's no diagonal jumping, so I have no idea. Nobody's helping us. <laughs> That's okay. People are still trying to figure out the music, which is which makes sense. It's all good. There's 30 static rooms and a randomizer. You're listening to Iron Maiden while well playing. Hey, dude. <laughs> Thanks, guy. I, uh, I've uh, never listened to Iron Maiden. Invulnerable Demon Chasing You. I've listened to them like a tiny. I'm bit. not like a... It's not that I'm, I'm not, not a, a metal person. Yeah, like I'm... Metal is like definitely its own thing. Um, I'm into it, I guess. I don't know. It's never been my... Once world. in a while, I'll listen to it, but not uh, for any extended periods of time. Okay, I think we're going to move on, because yeah. I think we can't make Chat, it past this. we have this. failed we have the failed. fear of the dark. Yes. The dark has beaten us. Super. Okay, got it. So we're going to move on to the first demo. Did you enjoy that, Atari? Yes. Yeah. Um, Atari's not afraid of the dark. This dude can no. see. Cats are really in good the dark. at seeing in the dark. Which demo are we doing? First one, we'll do it in alphabetical order. I feel like I failed you guys with this fear of the dark. I hope that we didn't <laughs> fail you. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's okay. We're not great at all games. Yeah. <laughs> Some games were pretty good. But that game, it's difficult. It's a good challenge. It'll keep you going. Acid mm -hmm. Rain. <laughs> I'm just. We didn't name them. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. It's just... So the chances of these working 100, percent I don't know because demos push the limits, and some of these are PAL, so it may flip wow. the hell out immediately. Um, actually, see. most a lot of demos are PAL. A lot of demos come out of Europe. Ah, this is not working. Uh oh, sorry, friends. Yep. Let's try it again. Let's see. You never know. Sometimes the old... Got it. I could try it again. It's like that yeah. old IT guy who comes in <laughs> and you? he's like, did you restart it? And you're like, I could have done that. And then you do it and it works. And you're like... Uh, and you're like oh, 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 no. This is what we're getting. I'll show you guys. That's, <laughs> our, that's our screen. That's all we're getting is a blue screen. So check it out online. Um, some of these games, some of these demos are made in PAL. So totally. you need a PAL system, a PAL equipment. Usually mine's pretty good with PAL, but also a lot of them push the limitations of frames and lines. That's right. And if it's going all over the place with the lines, like over, t like jumping from 262 and all over the place, especially with if they're doing really crazy audio stuff, they'll forego drawing the screen and just go for audio. And digital equipment does not handle a non-stable video source. That's right. And so it flips out. So and it's also like we would have to have a CRT hooked up to my system or a different system, and then film it with a camera. So you'll have to watch that. We'll, yeah, we'll take um, a look thrust, at the next we're one. We're doing like um, uh, acid rain. Is that what you? That's yeah. what it was called. That was the oh. one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was acid rain. So you'll have to, guys. We'll have to check that on your own. We'll go yeah, to if you an, check the it next out, test. Uh, this was the one which didn't work on our thing, but that doesn't yeah. mean that it'll probably it would work on a analog, fully analog system. But we're recording digitally through a frame meister. We got a stream to all of you, so yeah, yeah a little bit. And nobody wants to watch a stream with a camera pointed yeah. at a CRT exactly. television. Exactly, or Stella. Uh, oh, thank you, I suppose. So very smart. We're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, switch it up. So. I always forget about that, that we can actually run it on the computer. Yeah, just because then, then then they can at least see it, especially for these showcases and whatnot. Yeah. It's always, we always have to sort of switch around. Do the best we can. Okay. We are good. Yeah. That one is running. It's so, yeah. There's so much electronics in this room. It's so great. <laughs> there is a lot. But I need it all to make sure that everybody can uh, see oh. what's going on. Okay. One second. Stella capture. There we go. I'm trying to understand why uh, Gilbamore... Who, who does Gilbomore want to punch? There's some punching that's happening. <laughs> There's punching happening? I see, punch him. Right now, I'm the face. Punch him. Little Maybe he's talking me. about that dude coming after you. Everyone else shut up until he punches him in the face. 
I don't know who it, I don't know if this is a troll thing. I don't know what's going on. It's the internet. It's the internet, folks. Yeah. Let us know. Like, give us some context for this punching while we while we set this stuff up. How do we get rid of that background? What's happening? Anyway. We're, we're just setting up our Stella because it didn't work on the channel. Okay. So I've got Stella working. <laughs> wrong channel. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> wrong channel. Maybe wrong channel. Uh, you never know. This is a new... It is a new person. Yeah, dude, it's all so good. So I think they're what, what? mixing up what they're seeing and what they're saying. Ah, uh, you never. And know. if they're not watching us, but they're ch chatting with us, they're they're gonna be going for the punching. Yeah. All are pal. Okay. Dude. Okay. Yeah, we might. We might, might have to do. go with this. So here is uh, here's acid rain. Let's check it out. They have to, I think they have to pad it out to two, um, 2K. Yeah. Um, I think that's like the minimum size for a cartridge, so they just pad it out with zeros or whatever, and then it just executes a certain code because a bank, a bank of code has to be um, designed. Uh, that's what it's expecting, a certain size, but you can just ignore the rest. The demos are mainly done in Europe. I see. Okay. Yeah, Pac-Man Red, the city found some fear of the dark gameplay footage. Oh, so might be able to help okay. get past that section. Probably. Then we'll at least know the path. Yeah, man. Um, so that'll help everybody out there if they want to try it out. It's a good idea. So, um, taking a look at this one. It's kind of a cool, scrolly... Um, it looks like it's done in all play field. It's quite, quite chunky blocks. Yeah. Um, a very smooth scrolling play field. Of repetitive music, but uh, good music. This is the loop. Yeah. yeah, probably loop for a little while. <laughs> I've been watching the exact words going across the screen, but uh, a lot of demo scene stuff. Um, always <laughs> do. It is some ironic better. statements, man. NTSC is better. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> very ironic. They probably do PAL because PAL has more lines to work oh, with. Yeah. So you can get more graphics on the screen, and it just has a slower refresh rate of 50 hertz instead of 60, which is not that big of a deal for video gaming. I feel like we just entered into the oh, internet. We've got ends. this crazy demo. People are appearing, telling us go. to punch people in the face. Yeah, we've got like an alternate. We've universe, got dank yeah. things being said on this <laughs> thing. We got all. It's really great. It's like. A, it's all of a sudden we entered into a time warp with this crazy demo. and I don't fully understand Five it. 12 but... bytes. It takes six or seven to initialize. Then it has to draw the screen in software. Yes. Yeah, that's the difficulty with Atari homebrew. Yeah. Or Atari demos. Everything has to be done manually. Every really? line, everything has to be drawn. There's no helpers. It's like basic, basic, basic code. Um, the most help it gets is like... This is player one, this is player zero. There's some predefined things, but it's a lot of work to get that going. So let's move on to the next game. Glad we were able to show the demos, because that would have been... Yeah, because it's a, it's an important part of the stuff. Thank you for reminding me <laughs> that there's always a way to play these games. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. And it's good to do it on stream, because the whole point of this is to give some exposure yeah. for this stuff. So next one is... Nexion 3D. I'm pretty sure we did. Which is this? This is in. Um... Oh, sorry. We're going to continue on the programming. Yeah. Right. Nexion is the. Oh, one. let They're, me just tell, talk about the ones. Uh, Gizzlewap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern was after Fear of the Dark. That's by Jeff Smith, a.k.a. Mountain King. And then Mappy by John Champo, a.k.a. Johnny WC of Champ Games and Thomas Yentz. 
And now we're up to Nexion 3D. I feel 3D. like, I, wow, I, I've played so many of these games. Yeah, I, listing them off, you're like, oh yeah. I'm like, oh, I've done yeah. this, I know oh, all yeah. these things. Okay, let's try out this Nexion 3D. Okay. Let me go over. Don't press anything. I won't. There we go. Cool. So we got the nice little, nice title screen there. Wow. Now, this one is different. If I remember correctly, have we have you played this one? Never. Okay, so go for it. It it has multiple views. Now the bottom view is the o like the downward map that you look like the overhead map. Wow. The little thing in the middle is your your POV and the top flashing dot is which direction you're facing oh. uh, in terms of the lower map. And the things on the right and the left are just decoration. Call from Jabana. So. Whoa. Whoa. So there is a guy chasing you. Um... Oh, I'm starting to understand what's going on. Now I remember, a if bit. I remember correctly, you have to get a key. You have to um, just one second. I have to make sure something is not going crazy. Wow. I think I'm understanding. I'm trying to like relate myself to like the whole. Cause yeah, it makes sense. It's like we got the direction that we're going. We've got the place that I'm kind of at. Yep. Um, I think I might have to take a phone call. Okay, go ahead and <laughs> do your phone call, man. Um, I'll try to fumble through what we're doing here. This is a rough game for me to be abandoned on, but don't worry. Yes, if you I'm gotta gonna get the instructions dude, out for you. If you, you gotta make well. a call, it's all I good. I do, cause there's real life <laughs> this real real life does and, have its own thing and deadlines and stuff like that hey man it's all good and i cannot ignore it because there you go apollyon no nexion nexion okay got, friends got the rhyming going on there got you the wrong instructions i don't shouldn't take very long for the phone call it's all good man there you go okay thanks be right back sorry everyone no worries so we have no more james <laughs> good luck <laughs> oh it's all good okay so i'm trying to figure out like does anybody on chat know like what i'm supposed to do i mean i can also read these instructions that's part of the thing like um, but what I'm seeing here for sure is a very complicated sort of 3D map. I mean, it's easy to do to some degree. Like, I think I'm figuring out how to do stuff. It just feels like I'm just running away from some lunatic. I don't know. Anyways, it's all good. I'll try to figure this stuff out. I, I know James's film is playing at a film festival really soon in Vancouver. So I think that's probably what he's talking about. Dude, I just died. Okay, we're going to figure this out. If chat has any sense of things, but I know that like uh, James got a lot of stuff going on, but like um, I'm pretty sure that he's figuring out some film festivals. So I've got to run away from this dude. Okay, I'm like running away. I think I'm starting to figure out because like you kind of gotta almost figure out like the the like direction. The only thing that's tough is like I find myself kind of going one direction mostly. It, how do you how do you win though? Okay. Let's figure this out. Gameplay. 24 levels. No game options, controls. Move joystick. Whatever. Let's figure out scoring. There is no scoring. Remember to use the map. How does one win? What is the point? Okay, grab the key to find the exit. So this is the goal, I guess. I gotta find a key. Let's get, like, somewhat systematic about this situation here. This is very cool, though. I love the kind of 3D element to this whole thing. Although, like, I guess 3D and, like, Atari 2600 is, like, a bit of a tough combination. Like, this reminds me a little bit of Apollyon, where, like, when I was playing Apollyon, it was like, Jesus, how does this, any of this work? And, 
and then all of a sudden it became a bit simpler. So I think I'm seeing this character here. I mean, I I have to be somehow looking at more of these things. I feel like I'm just sort of moving around slightly randomly. Quick instructions. Oh, thank God, Impaler. Navigate through the maze to find and destroy the droid that holds the key. Use your fire button to pick up the key and find the exit. Okay, that's good to know. So we got to do like a, we got to do our fire button. I think this is definitely one of those ones where like, okay, so we can see that there's this guy coming kind of at us. Oh, shit. I got to kind of move around him. It takes a little bit of time to get used to the, to the navigation of things. I'm kind of moving around. Bam, bam, bam. I got to find a key though. And you kind of got to watch the three at once, right? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Too abstract for my taste, sorry. I know, man, that's kind I feel slightly similar because, like, it's a little bit, um, it's like a high concept. I mean, that's the thing about these programming games, I think, is that, like, they're really cool ideas, but also their execution can be a bit challenging because we have, obviously, the, the, like, the top, the bottom, and the middle, but, like... And that's, I think that's a tough part about Atari games, too, is that, like, when you get a bit too complicated in this form, it's, like, impressive, but at the same time, it's very difficult to kind of figure out how to... Na okay, dude, did you see that? I feel like, is that... That's something that I... Okay, that's the door. Okay, great. That's good to know. So we got ourselves a door. The next step is going to be trying to find a freaking key, my friend. Yeah, because I think the things, like, you think about the games that really click, they tend to be kind of living on one screen. It's very challenging. Also, just navigations are, like, one business, too. Okay, so obviously we got this guy, but it's, like, hard to, like, okay, so I'm just, like, literally running away at this point. Okay, let's figure this out. Oh no, okay. This is the hardest game in the world to be left. Oh, I can hear James coming back. I will be leaving again. You will. It's all good, man. I'm back till the phone rings. Okay. I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited to hear what it was. Dude, this is a tough game. Um <laughs> did I got you some it stuff. Out? Uh, I did. My favorite thing is the chat is like too abstract oh, yeah. for me. Sorry. <laughs> Navigate the maze to find and destroy the droid that holds the key. Use your fire button to pick up the key and find Oh, the I got to find the fr Okay, the droid is so. the dude I got to kill. Yeah. So. Okay. Helped so I, you a little bit. Okay. Okay, James is is going. Okay. So I got to kill this guy? Okay. And then I find the key and then I go, okay. So we gotta like, so this is, okay. I think I saw some, some business happening. I remember where the key was last time. Okay. Fire, fire. Come on, buddy. Oh shit, okay, I died. Shoot the robot, okay. But I, you see, but I hit the fire button. It doesn't seem to do anything. That's okay. We'll figure. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. We shall figure this out together. Bam, bam. Okay. Okay. Come on, robot. I think I found him. The tough thing is, is once you find him, okay, okay, there was a shot. Shots have been fired. That's really good. Okay. I gotta turn around. Wow, this is like a very challenging game, my friend. It reminds me a lot of Apollyon, though, where, like, I bet you if I mastered these controls, it would be a completely different situation. Where, like, if I was in a position where I could, like, where I was super confident with my navigation and I knew the things to look at. Like, I think any 3D game in, like, an Atari concept is definitely, like, a lot harder. A lot harder. Okay, so... Okay. Bam. Come on. Come on. Fire. Okay. Shoot the robot. Yeah, 
Hey, you, anyone in chat got any questions for me? Because it's just me on my own. I'm curious. Do you have any questions about, like, literally anything? I'm totally down to talk about anything if you want. It'd be easier if you guys hit me up with some stuff because we're missing James right now. There are some good-looking 3D games. Escape the Mind Tunnel Runner. Nope. Escape the Mind Master's amazing 3D. I think the compass at the top shows the direction of the robot. I think so, but it's also the direction that I move, which is interesting. Because you see, like, the top is, like, I can kind of move up, right? And then, like, now I'm kind of facing a different direction, facing a different direction, and now when I push forward, I can kind of move. So I think it's, like, the D-pad. It's, like, my directions. I'm kind of figuring this stuff out a little bit easier. Yeah, I shouldn't so categorically say that, like, there's bad 3D games, because I haven't played as many. I think it's just that the, the level, like, the challenge curve is a lot higher, because, like... You play a lot of, like, 2D scrollers, and you just, like, you already know how to play them, because everyone's played Mario, everyone's played these games. But when you get into something like this, which is, like, a little bit more unique, there is that curve of just figuring out, how do I even, like, move and navigate? Reminds me of, okay, so, like, but the thing that's challenging about this one is I am firing. It doesn't seem to be, like, doing much. Let's see. Okay. Good stuff. Going back. Because, yeah, I have to kind of, like, learn a new system, and I just find the rotations a little bit crazy. But I gotta kill him. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. Ah, back to the beginning. Up, up, down moves forward, and back, left and right moves you right and left. Okay. Oh, so that, okay, dude, thank you so much. That's a lot easier. So it's kind of like, it just rotates me through. Thank you so much, man. That makes a lot more sense. So it's like, that's great, because kind of like through the D-pad, moves me around. Let's go. Bam. Okay. Okay, come on. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's way easier. It makes way more sense. You turn right, left? Yep, okay. I'm, I'm starting to understand. This makes way more sense. It's like anything. You gotta kind of figure out how the heck you move. That's like one of the tough things about, like, streaming Atari games, man, is that, like, you gotta, like, immediately pick up all this stuff. Like, I normally play, like, one game, you know, and I learn it, like, very, very well. Like, right now, I'm playing, like... But that's the thing about Atari is every time on stream, I'm, like, learning a new game, which is pretty cool. Okay. I'm, like... Okay, I see. Oh, he's got a little, like, dot on the radar now, which is cool. Okay, I'm actually playing with some tactics. I don't think he can come up from behind, though. Come on. Okay, I see him. Okay. Come on, friend. Okay. I think that this should work. Come on, come on. Oh, God, okay. Tough game. For 2600, you have to use your imagination. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't be coming down at all, because it, it's true. It's like you have to kind of, like, open your mind up. I remember I heard someone say that about movies, you know? And I do believe that, where it's like the second we're so spoon fed this kind of like we, you know, with realism, it's like we can we can dr see anything. We can see these dragons. We can be taken to like these crazy lands. But like the second that we lose just like this imaginative side of things, um, is kind of like we lose a huge part of what makes us us. You know, is like our imaginations. And it's sad because I think that like, you know, there in all these forms of entertainment, like books and. And, and, and movies and all these things, we used to just be like, especially as kids, you're just so willing to jump into these kind of imaginary worlds. But nowadays, it's even me, I'm being shitty. It's this like attitude of like, oh, I want this to, I want to perfectly understand how to do this right away. And like, that's not the point of anything. Like, there should be a bit of a learning curve and there should be like a, a way to put your imagination into stuff. I think that's probably why I like this community, a lot of people, because you all are like, you know, you in some ways you're connected to like that form of imagination where like games didn't have to be, you didn't need to run around and have some like photorealistic like lighting. Because that's not the point. The point is to kind of open your mind up a little bit and spend some time really like being 
um, in this world. And I, I've always wondered too with you all, like I love it, but it's like there's always, you have this connection to, to your childhood in a way. It's so weird for me because I know for James, these games, how he had, like this was the console that he first played. Like I saw him write this post on like the Atari Awards. For me, it's interesting because this isn't like a game that I necessarily, I mean, this isn't a console that I have a connection to the same way James does, but I kind of come here every week to just hang out with James because it's nice to sort of, you know, it's so hard to make friends when it when you get to be like, oh, there's the like the key. I mean, it's so hard to make friends when you reach a certain age, you know? It's cool because I don't know if I would hang out with James as much if I didn't do this show. Um, and then for him, I wonder like how he feels where it's like this thing he does every week where he kind of like, hangs out with people i mean it's cool he hangs out with his wife and like his childhood friend and whatnot but it's neat it's nice to sort of like i think that's a big thing that's missing in our lives sometimes is that sense of play like i know that when you're little you just you you have time but now in like our crazy lives and schedules you know we don't make time to just hang out with our friends anymore and it's weird it's like i'm such a workaholic i just like work that it's like the only time i can like um put aside to um like hang out with my friends is to do something productive so it's weird that like you know this feels productive because it's like we're doing this show but like on another hand it's a weird thing because um you know, we're, we're also just hanging out and playing video games. And I never know, like, what to do about that. I never thought I'd be doing the show for this long, actually. Like, when I, when I first showed up, uh, I was like, oh, I'll just hang out and, like, do this thing. And it's become a weird part of my life. I don't know. But it is interesting because these aren't my games of my childhood. I don't have that same nostalgic thing. But I'm also just so blown away by the programming, you know, and so blown away. Fire Button is not shooting. Hmm, yeah, it seems to be like a little bit screwed up, you know? I'm trying to figure this thing out. But wait, I think James is coming back now. Anyways, that's my little monologue Still for today. It? Yeah, I am, because it's okay. a, a trapped in. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely moving on. This was a hard one to be left on my own with, but it's all good, man. Your fire button is not shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna move on to the next demo. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, which has pop a over to Stella. Very man. interesting name. What is it called? Alpha Cux. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> this is, we're on to Alpha Cux, aren't we? Yeah. We're going in. We are. Sorry, yeah. everybody. Real life. I'm happy that it is interesting to see people who have no nostalgia. That's the cool thing about like yeah. a, a twenty six hundred. That's like for, that I was just telling them that like for me, it's interesting to play these games because I I don't have that connection. But at the same time, I, what I That's appreciate right. is like coming by and like kind of playing games and yeah. having that time schedule because like we don't do that anymore. Like I'm such a workaholic. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, take everything's time. all over the place. There's no set times for doing anything. And it's set times to play, right? It's a weird thing. Anyways, so here we go, Alpha Cux, and this is. I will get the info for you in one second. Where is it? At the top here? Where did my info go? What's that noise? Oh. Oh, yeah, we're still sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody walking around. Yeah, yeah, we're still in that zone. So it starts off with the Pitfall Dude. Running on a... Uh, on a wavery, wavy, wavy hill, and then a very cool, huge ship, beaming, beaming him up with some awesome music. That's really cool. <laughs> it's so cool. The name is is it's like, crazy. Oh man. So the people who did this one is Death That's of Greece. That's cool, man. This is cool. Scaling in and out, which technically the first video game system to have scaling is the Super Nintendo. So they're doing like virtual scaling, which is quite impressive. Now they would have to probably I doubt they'd be doing it on the fly. They'd probably have the, all that in memory. That's really high-res graphic there. 
Dude. And that would've that would have taken some time, man. Yeah. Nice artwork as well. And the movement. Movement's not too hard because you're just drawing something at a different spot, starting to draw. But the result is very impressive. Mm -hmm. It's like a simple animation. And now the shoutouts. <laughs> of course. Has to be in every demo. Ah. 3D fully rotating. Very nice little engine. Oh, call Harry back again. Kind of an afro. That's like a movie. Yeah, these demos. Oh, look at that. Beautiful reflection in the water. It's the sunset. I feel like this is like the cinematic cutscene that begins like a game, you know? Like, I feel like this is yes. what this is could be the feature Ooh. of Homebrew, where like you have these cinematic. <laughs> Take up a lot of room, though. I mean, they're, with the new way of constructing uh, Homebrew, there's lots of room. Oh, it ends. Not too many of them end. Yeah, because you could totally have like um, a cutscene style thing. Oh, yeah, some, and then some games some... do. Some games do, like um, some of the like Pac-Man, Pac-Man 8K, which we showed on the show a little oh, yeah, while ago. Yeah, had that like. Grr, 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 yeah, grr. had the Pac-Man going across. That's uh, and Paler says indeed one of the best nominated ho uh, demos, definitely. Yeah, some it's really so nice, impressive. It's really nice stuff going Does, on there. Do they know the? Never mind. <laughs> These demo guys may not know that they're nominated. Yeah, because no. Because they don't. But what I mean is, like, know the the title's suggestion. Oh God, yes, of they, course they do. It's clickbait almost. It's it is crazy. It's like mm, because there's mm, I, 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 X, you know, like I don't know, like like cosmic know warrior, like I don't know, like that would be that would, <laughs> that would have a, a different connotation. It does. Be like, We're gonna move on to best. Oh, oh no! What do we do? Okay, what's then, next? Then after that, uh, for best programming was Plague. By Fair Janice Zoltan, which we played already. Yeah, I remember that. that was a cool one. Sheep It Up by Dr. Ludos, which we did. Stripes of Terror. I made it to five sheeps. <laughs> yeah, we did terrible <laughs> last time. Oh, usually 32K demos are rare. They're usually smaller. So, yeah, that was a one of the bigger ones. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty amazing. It is. Actually, let me take a look. It usually does say how big it is. The sun setting was very impressive in some of the 3D oh kind God, of um, stuff. Even just wrap your brain around that stuff would be challenging. I don't even know. Like, I should probably, like, learn... Not, like, learn, but, like, give a look at what some of the programming behind some of this stuff is. Just so I can get humbled. Because I just... I'm, it would be. It's the basic building blocks of what goes into these Yeah, like, look amazing. at a Batari Basic kind of thing and just just get a sense of what people are doing because i feel like that's a huge oh. part of the show man those aren't made in basic no those i know but assembly. i mean but what i mean is like yeah. to begin like to see the even the entry point like to look at like what like even that would be because i i'm pretty it's pretty amazing uh stripes of terror by christoph kluksek aka dev k michael zukowski and maria zgorski um and then after that this is for best programming still sword of surter Jeff Sturmer, Ultima, we played all these. Yeah. And then Tire Tracks by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. And then we go on to Best Graphics. Uh, it's 13 of them. Apollyon, <laughs> Balloon Trip, Dungeon 2 Solstice, Fear of the Dark, Gizzlewap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. That's right. Mappy. For some reason, Play. the Gizzlewap one, I keep thinking about wanting to try again because I feel like that was one I just started to figure out. There's a and then lot we... to it. Yeah. And we could go back and play that one um, in a future show because it's one of those games that has yeah. a big storyline. There's a lot to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Impaler's like, yeah, there's a lot of math involved in programming. Oh, there is. Tons, tons when you're doing that stuff. Are you going to cause trouble? Yeah. yeah. My sister's a programmer, so like, I always, I'm always really blown away by her, but she's... Bye -bye. She spends a lot of time, um, she programs for the university. Oh. So she just spends... Like working spend, on the back end of their Yeah, just has software. like just has like problem lists that she does all day. It'd be neat. I could ask her about it, actually. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of matrices. And it's cool. Multiplying I by matrices. You can tell, because um, Grand Trooper says, yes, maths is hard, because um, I think... I don't know if I'm wrong, but Grand Trooper, you're probably somewhere from Europe, right? Yes, by saying maths, yes. Yeah, because when I was in... It's more than one, right? Yeah, when I was in <laughs> England, because um, I grew up there, uh, that's what we we learned, maths. And yes, then when I came back right. to North America, we learned math. 
<laughs> so you can always you can always tell where someone's at based off of their maps or their map. Uh, then should we let Atari out? He's kind of he will. Yeah, I'll let him out in a sec. Unless you want to let him I'll out, do it. Yeah, but don't let the black and white cat in. Yeah, he's excellent. And okay, well, too late. Oh, I wouldn't pick him up. Just yeah, just let him leave it open let again. Be sorry. Um, Space Game by Carl Garrison. Stripes of Terror by Christoph Kukla. Zek, oh, he's from Sword of Surter by Jeff Sturmer, and then one we haven't played, Tron by Orange Eight Hundred Eight. Dude, and this we've never actually played at all on the show. Dude, okay. And this is a port of the arcade game, at least two levels from the arcade game. I love and I it. I believe it has two joysticks that you need to use. If I remember correctly. So this one might be difficult. Usually I have to do a very special setup. Are you ready? Yep. To make it work. Now I have to answer an email. <laughs> cool. I got, I, got, I got you. Yeah, so good luck. Thanks, man. Which one? Is this programming? Uh, this is into best graphics now. Graphics. Sick. Let's do it. Tron it up. Tron it up. Okay. Uh, Tron. No. Okay. Tron. Good. Okay, and I gotta do two controllers. I played Stripes of Terror in a previous show. Okay, let's let's figure this out. Oh, and whoa. I will switch over so people can actually see what the hell you're playing. Oh, whoa. Dude. Dude. <laughs> so you have Dude, to okay. move with one and fire with the other. This is like almost a two-player game. Let's do this, friends. Whoa, okay, death already. That's fine. We got this. Maybe you should play a different game, and we'll come back to this. That's okay. We got this. We got no, this. No, 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 no. This won't be very impressive. Oh. Okay. Okay, you know what's really fascinating is the fire button is connected to this one and the <laughs> aim is connected to this one. So I have to like, this will be the way we do this. I think I got this. Okay. So I can aim off. Ooh. This is definitely like, this is great. So. Okay. Okay, I got some ideas. Holy cow. Just so you can see, folks, I have to aim with this, shoot with this, and move with this. So, the plan is, I'm gonna, like, get my aim into a direction that makes sense, and then we're gonna kind of fire. I think this is fully a two-player game. It just feels like it. I make, I, it's tough that, like, the fire is separate from... Okay. Oh, and the, and the fire button seems to be slightly, like, it bounces around a bit. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh! What was this? Best graphics? Yes. I mean, it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm super into, like, this, um, uh, like, the mechanics of it and stuff. It's just a tough game. You should play a different game right now. Let's we'll do come it. back to that. Cause... Let's switch her around. Go to Asteroid Rescue. Sounds good. This one. I oh, got it. Asteroid Rescue, which one's that? I under? have to do this email. No, Sorry. go ahead, graphics. Yeah. Uh, no, best music and sound. Okay, let's do it. Asteroid Rescue. I'm an Asteroid Rescue. What up? Yeah, play co-op. <laughs> You're totally right, Impaler. Okay. So is this, I'm, I'm dodging some, is this a fire one? No. It's all dodging, I believe. Okay, okay. You know what's up. <laughs> you know what's up. So this is like tire tracks. Oh, get the fuel. Get the F. Cool. This is like tire tracks, but like um, the objects are moving. Yeah. It's like, because even this feels slightly similar. Oh, God. Okay. We got this, friends. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm going to... Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is so much better. I'm trying to figure out, like, I wonder what the different things are for. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of tire tracks, but it isn't, like, um, uh, it's a kind of, a, definitely a different vibe, because you can kind of move in and out. Like, you kind of stay the same. The controls are a little bit sensitive, which isn't, like, a bad thing at all. But, like, um, I definitely find it's taking a second to kind of figure out. Because, like, each jump, you see how much I'm, like, jumping? each time. This is definitely... Oh, God, I need some fuel. Yes! Thank God. Okay, we're good. Dude, like, any game like this, it gets ridiculously hard in terms of, like, when its speed goes up. Well, yeah, okay, I think I'm... Oh, oh dude. <laughs> okay. Yep, the cat's attacking the screen. <laughs> this is a crazy stream, man. It's so crazy. We have people in chat telling people to punch in the face. James has got all this stuff going on. We got cats jumping on TVs. We're showing demos on Stella. It's so great. I'm in heaven. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. And this is for best, um, best graphics, right? The fuel going on. I think I made it. What did I make it to last time? I don't know if anybody saw. <laughs> is uh, Arena Foot helping you out? I no? don't think Arena's here today. Oh, no. That's okay. I think I made it to like 800. This is for music and sound, so I think the title music is what it's for. So you may want to let the title music play. Oh, cool. If you can get back to the... Just leave it on there for a bit. That? Turn it up a bit. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Zero Page Homebrew, the, the perfect, perfect storm stream, stream today. It's yeah. like everything at once. It's oh my so God. good, man. I love it so much. <laughs> Chaos. It's like we got we got so much happening. This is like this is why you do a live show. <laughs> yeah, that's this is what live is about. I love it. You have chaos. to roll with it. You, you have to work with it. It's so good. Short but nice. Oh, it does repeat. So you can go back into the game again. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that's right. You're better with chaos. Chaos. It's so it's, sprinkle of chaos. It's so right. It's it's the almost thing, done the email. It's the thing though with like drama, man. It's like when things, when everything that is happening at once, it's so much better. It's <laughs> like I remember when I used to watch Friends as a kid. I would always be like, "When's the episode where someone's not going to get in trouble and they're just going to be friends and have a nice <laughs> Hang time, out, and have some pizza, watch right? a like, movie?" How come there's always a conflict every episode? Why is it? And, yeah. then, and I was like, "Oh, we wouldn't be watching if they're just <laughs> sitting around." And like, and my and my desire for there to be like a conflict free. I remember when I was in school, I had a few people say that. Would they just be like, "I want to make a movie where where there's no chaos, where there's no conflict, where just like people just hang out and oh, they have no, a nice no. time." And then I remember one person did it, and we watched the movie, and we're like, "Oh, that's that's why you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so boring." Yeah. So you know, life needs to have a couple little turns you gotta you gotta you gotta have the asteroids flying at you you've got to have be in a spaceship trying to catch your fuel you know you gotta be multitasking which is good i said it's a pretty cool game though um i'm gonna try to get in the zone for a second and actually because i've been not really giving it a go obviously i've been kind of like this in the stream i'm gonna try to actually do really well for a second yeah, let's see if i can kick some butt the controls are i mean like the farther to the left you are the better yeah, you have more For time. For sure. And then, like, um, the fuel, you can go a long time without the fuel, so, like, I'm not too worried about fuel. It's just not dying. Like, I've learned that with a lot of Atari games. It's, like, really, the objective of Atari games sometimes is just not to die. Like, it doesn't matter whether you are, like, doing the best. Whoa! Speed. I think, I think some of those things slow time down a bit. 
I could be wrong, but I feel like, um, yeah, because, like, here we go, S, S, yeah, yeah, Ooh, okay, last life, come on, I think 800 might be, might be the best, okay, let's zone in, let's, let's, let's do well, let's kick some butt. Yeah, so this is, I love the curve of this game. This is quite nice. This is sort of a cla much more classic, where it's like, slowly ramps up. But I've noticed the speed slows down a little bit at certain points, which is interesting. Okay. Do you get more points if you're farther in the middle? I doubt it. I doubt it, too. Most games don't work like that. It's a possibility, but I really doubt it. Yeah, I really doubt it, too. It seems to be more... Oh, S is for speed up, so if you don't want the Whoa. speed up, don't get the S. Yeah, I'd rather not. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that was very rippy. That was <laughs> Only for a bit, though. Yeah. Face punch the shoplifter. <laughs> okay, make, make face puncher. There you go. Dude! I mean, there's that thing called kick puncher. Dude. Remember, what was that from Community? Kick puncher, that was the movie they loved? Oh, Community? I think so, yeah. Face puncher. Dude, face puncher the shoplifter. <laughs> this is so good. We want shoplifter, we want face puncher. <laughs> whoa. I mean, sometimes, again, you get lucky because it's just like, whoa. I need some fuel, I need some fuel. Okay, good. We're good. Okay. Email. Complete. Is complete. Oh, you're going really fast. Did you pick up an S nope. or no? It's, it's just, just ramping up. up. Yeah, see, I'm at like 600. Oh. Okay. I, I got it to 800, and you can tell that that's actually almost somewhat there. of a feat. Yeah, it's like, it gets oh. really fast. Do you want to try? Yeah, I want to give it a go. But, uh, I haven't played this game too much. It's pretty cool. Starts off really slow. Totally, oh. and ramps up nice and so quick. You can't shoot anything. No, you just, you're just... Defenseless. As I said, it's a lot like... Um, uh, tire tracks, but like a different kind of. It's like you. It's That's like right. tire tracks, but you go forever and you can't hit anything. <laughs> and yes. you get as many points as possible. Oops, red fuel. There was no fuel to get. Yeah. It's, so get it whenever you can. I think the speed might give you points, though. It must. Probably. I Let's don't see what happens. In games, I don't really care about points too much. Yeah. Just, unless they're like a thing that help you out in some way. If it's just points for points' sake. Unless you're, like, competing for high score, of course. Mm, good point, yeah. And as I said, with these games, you just don't die. Or it advances you to the next level, and you have to get points. But I'm not going to sacrifice speed for points. No. That's for sure, because it's... It's definitely longevity is the most not important. Part of, yeah. So you can see the, the controls are pretty, pretty sensitive. Um, they are. They move you really quick. So which you, is... In, in theory, you could do really well with that, right? Because yes. it's like... That's, you need to move fast. That's the thing. is like one of the tough things about fast. tire tracks is that you um, don't move uh, as fast. Yes. So you have to actually start Slam. moving at the right time. Versus this one, you can be a bit more reflexive. Yes. No, we're not making skirt lifter. <laughs> yeah, this is... That's Shop like... That's the it. sequel to Alpha Cucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next demo. So we won't turn that back on just Okay, yet. cool. So, the next demo is... So, we're going to play oh. Mall and Stella. Cool. Compo filler. This is really nice for me to watch these, actually. Because I've, I've looked at all the... The skin is... Great music. Wow. Fairly... Simple... Simple-ish kind of visual display. Oh, maybe not. It's pretty amazing. It's kind of like this. Um, the, the it's a clever display. Because the, the, there's bands, which is done with the uh, background that's moving. That's not hard. And then it's dividing up the screen into the different sections. It's a mirrored, it's a, it's a non-mirrored playfield, dividing up the 20 bits across, I don't know, 4K only, must be using a lot of space for music, yeah, yeah, it's 
simple music. Yeah. It's got some good drum sounds. It reminds me of like those, you, you, I don't know if you remember on iTunes when you played music, you used to be able to turn on the visual things, which would show uh, like some weird spacey stuff. Visualizations. That's yes. right. And I, and, I, and I realized in my college years why that existed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. uh, not personally, but I was like, oh, because as a kid I was like, why would anybody? This reminds me cool of, looking. I was like, it looks neat, I guess. You're like cool eight, looking. you don't get it. But this is like, reminds me a little bit of that where it's kind of like those visualizations that create kind of like a floaty, spacey feeling. Yeah. Um, and you can imagine this if it shifted a couple more times. Um, yes. It would, but this, but alone, this is pretty amazing. Because at first you don't realize the repetitive, what, what the repetition is. But it's yeah. a neat use of scan lines, right? It's kind of unique because... Everything's moving in different directions, yeah. Yeah. And um, like Thrust, um, Thomas said, 4K only. So a lot of these people put limitations on themselves. Yeah. Say, what can I do with this amount of space? What's the most impressive thing I can do? Um, and 4K is, you know, not a lot. You have to do a lot of stuff within 4K. And he's got great music and a lot of visuals. Like the programming for that is, it doesn't look too difficult. It's the, screen, the way the screen's broken up, it's, it's broken up the way you do program graphics for the play field in the 2600. It's broken up into eight and eight and four, which is play field graphics for 20. And then it's duplicated again, um, but he's changing it because it's not exactly the same in the left and right. And then it's 20, 20, and 4. And if you look at it, the colors follow that pattern. So there's 4 and 8 is the first chunk, moving up and down on the left. And then the next 8, unless I'm... Actually, that's a 1K demo padded out. It seems more like a 1K, that's true. Oh, I wonder why they padded out to four instead of just two. And then another eight. I <laughs> did. He said Atari Video Music did visualizations first. They did. That's a that's a very sought after standalone box. Yeah. That you can hook up to your TV and your stereo system, and it ports the sound through. Dude. I want it, and it looks awesome. Dude. It's got the wood grain. It's beautiful, but it's. What does it look like? What's the stuff? You know, it's a square, you know, rectangle box. You know, a stereo component, so it's meant to fit in with your other wood grain, 70s oh, stereo yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I believe it's all push button, like chunk, 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 to to dictate which visualization you want on your screen. Oh, dude. And it goes along with the music, so it's very sought after. It's quite expensive. Makes sense. And it's five hundred dollars, I think, something around there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's one of those things where, again, it's like... So um, much money now. It's so 70s looking. Yeah, and I imagine it's definitely one of those things where you would... Uh, you could probably get something that would be better, but that but that retro would remind you of being it's, drunk in the 70s, if that's well, what you were doing. It's like, were, well, we could be playing games on PS4. That's but right. not. And yeah. there's a reason, because of the of the nostalgia, of the basicness of what yeah. you can do with this equipment. Well, I heard one of... I work in a communications department, and one of the things they said that's interesting is your musical taste for most people the songs you listen to between the ages of like 18 and 25 is the taste of music you'll have for the rest of your life yes and yeah. it's like so true that like if you were at like a party you're 18 years old some kid has like his dad had like one of these things and you watched it that might be something that would be like very exciting to you to be able to hang out and like have this music or this like this visualization play because it would yeah. take you right back to where you were I think my formative years for music was when I was 15. Yeah. That's when I, all the genres that I kind of like now, except for um, retro wave music, which actually started in the early 80s with yeah. my Commodore 64, all the music from there. Um, yeah, was right, right around grade 11 at 15 when this guy gave me a whole bunch of tapes. Dude, music that's how on it tapes happens. And, and they're all magical bands and they're like, oh, that's perfect. Uh, retailed in, for $169 in 1977, which was not a small amount of money no. for the video music, uh, Atari, yeah. vi Atari music player, is it called? Atari video music, yeah. I'd say, like, every girlfriend I've had has given me mixtapes. <laughs> Those were the things. That's that what happens, right? And you would just, like, or they would, like, throw stuff in, so most of the music I listen to are always thanks to girls, which is... 
I was know. the one making the mixtapes. You were the one. I was. Of course. A, I was lucky. I was always the one that received receiving the, the mixtapes. Yeah. Uh, so let's do the Tron thing now. We have two people. What do you want to do? The moving and shooting, or the aiming? Um, I'll do the aiming so okay. that you can get some 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 real gaming in. Yeah. Because you've been running around, you haven't had the chance to really. And this was under graphics, I believe. And unfortunately, the guy who was working on Tron stopped working on it. Oh no! Because there's more levels, and these are actually some of the harder levels. And there's more to it. I mean, great little intro screen there. Oh, people can't see it, but they can hear it. There we go. Yeah, it's seven hundred dollars in twenty eighteen, man. And you'll pay close to get one of them on eBay. So, price is held steady. <laughs> it's like, okay. So much easier with two people. Okay, what we want to do is wait for him to get into... Oh, God. Okay. Come on. Always aim it towards him. Always, 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 always. Okay. Uh, aim up. Aim up, aim up, aim up. Up. Oh, oh sorry. fail. Ah, oh, he's going to kill us. Awesome. Awesome. Whoa, he was all right on our tail. I gotta get down here quick. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh god. Okay, we're a little bit better. So close. I think one more hit after that. Okay. Oh, left. Got him once. Up. Down. And we're dead. Ah. Oh, okay, we got so this. So hard we're to. Dude, two people. This is only possible with two people. Yeah, I couldn't... There's no way I could play this by myself. No. <laughs> okay. So is dead. this... This is one of the first uh, co-op... down! Left! Uh, no. What? That must have just caught me. Yeah. You know, in the arcade... Right on the edge. I think it was a spinner and a joystick. Which would make a lot more sense. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guess left... Uh, uh, right. Oh, God. Up. Ah. Left. Bam. Oh, I just out of range. Up. Right. Yay! Oh, okay, thank God. Okay, next one we have to aim at blocks. Up, 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 aim up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have to make it past this, if I remember. This game was so bloody hard in the arcade. I'll stay really close. Yeah, that's my good idea. And there were spiders in the arcade coming down to get you. They, he didn't put finish getting those in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to go. Okay, get that last one. Get that. Oh, oh, sorry. Do we have to do it all over again? I'm sure we have to, knowing this. Uh, oh, God. Down. It's cool that there's, like, multiple different ones, Up. though. Up. Uh, right. Right. Oh, sometimes right. it okay, sometimes it's like Oh my god. Okay, down. Down. Oh I'm dead. I'm oh dead. rip! <gasps> Do I oh. progress? No, you die. We can do it. Wonder what the inflation of just oh. like the dollar would be though that, that you know, for that system. Yeah. Oh they eight to eight twenty two. Inflation of just eight oh so it's about the same then. Yeah. Right, I left him. <laughs> Up. Oh, uh, no. You can't die. Even if you hit him, the game continues on. It doesn't stop there. Oh. What is that? Okay. Go. One more, one more. Oh. Okay. Okay, up. I'm gonna aim up. Dude! Okay. <laughs> Back to this nightmare. Whoa! Oh, whoa! I thought there was Dude. only... Oh my god. Oh my god, there's like so much stuff happening. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is shooting <laughs> spiders. I remember spiders in the... Me neither. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're moving up, I in think. Your face, spiders. Okay, to the right. Uh, uh, uh. Quick. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, now we're back. Rip. Okay, one more. One more we've go. Ne we've never actually played this on the show. Too hard with only one life. <laughs> you you fucking said it in Paleo. Holy me. shit. That's so right. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. Down. Bam. That's too far. Yeah. Uh, 
this is. Oh, what? What? <gasps> did, did you just get a shield or something? No, it teleported me. I don't know if I wanted to be teleported, uh, but it but teleported we... me. Oh, that was too risky. I knew it. Let me try that teleport again. Yeah, we can use that as Oh, like... just randomly, I guess if you're in trouble? Yeah, it must be. Down. Le right, left. Uh, <laughs> uh... Too slow, I'm too slow. Such a slow ass tank. It's gotta be like, a, it's cool the variation in levels. Oh, I was expecting Jesus. just just to be repeated. Like Left. Old. Oh, I thought there was only two. Definitely not done. He said done, but it's not done done. It's But he's not working on it yeah. anymore. I'm really sad about that. It's cool this could game. have been. Yeah. This could if be he, insane. Could have been very insane, especially if you, gave, if you got more than one life. Someone needs to hack this <laughs> to give you more than one life. Yeah, like seriously, if we had like even three lives. Yeah, oh my god. We just play more of the game. Go! Okay, I'm gonna. There I'm are a... four levels. Like in this game, there's four levels? Okay, we can do this easy. Up, up, up. Just aim up. Just aim up. Uh, it's hard because, like. I'm trying to. There we uh, go. No, not enough time. I got you. I got okay. you. I think we can do it this time. No! no! Whew. We almost got the spiders when we made it to the spiders. Yeah, we, we had almost. a pretty good opening. Oop, left. Ah, uh, sometimes it's like. Ooh, actually, that's a good way. Lure him in, and then book it. <laughs> Down. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Is it a rotate left right kind of thing, or is it a pull down to aim down? Oh, it's a rotate. Oh, like, okay. it would be awesome if if it were just like left. And it's, you see, you can tell that, like, you kind of have to, like, it's pretty, it takes a little bit of, uh... Down. No. Ooh! Okay. Oh. It, it does stop. It's got a threshold. Okay. There we go. I need an opening of three. There we go. Yes! <sighs> okay, I don't want to screw us up. I'm going to aim at these spiders. I'm going to wreck these spiders. Come on. Okay. Oh god, what is that thing? Whoa, it speeds what up. Left, come yeah. on! Get aim at the spiders! Ah, uh, left! Left! <sighs> oh <my laughs> Number god. four, at least we'll see level ah. four. Oh, it's the discs! Whoa! In your face, red guy. Whoa, whoa! Catch my discs to throw them Come again. on, come or on. do I? No, no, they just come back to me eventually. Uh, eventually. Okay. Oh god. Come on, buddy. Yes! Oh! Wow, that looks so good. Dude, that was amazing. It's got the perspective and the little, the smaller discs. Wow. This is definitely, I can see why this was up for, was it graphics? I think or it was, sound? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was graphics, yeah. Holy. Yeah, graphics. Holy yeah, yeah, cow. definitely graphics. That's like, that's it. Discs Primo. of Tron, indeed. Okay, so let's go on to the next uh, demo, which is Dengue Fever. Dengue? Wow. Dengue? 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 Dengue Fever? Okay. Very difficult thing to do is rotating things 360. Wow. Math. <laughs> Maths. <laughs> it's a maths. And it's zooming in and out on those letters too. I feel like this music perfectly is related to what I'm seeing. <laughs> Tron was 32k DPC plus Atari Basic. Atari Basic, wow. Wow. It's really good. It's amazing. Amazing. I wish he worked on it more. Just three lives. That would have been like enough, I think. Although, Good sound. there's a thrill that we felt that we haven't felt. In That's a while. true. There was a, that there was true. there was a sense of stakes. There was a feeling of huge, uh, like of, it's all or nothing. That's right. So a lot of these uh, Tron. This is a 4K assembler. Wow. Oh, it's got a scroller too. Even though everyone at the party speaks, speaks Swedish. Swedish. Yeah. Demo, it is demo scene of is huge. Of course, for the. 
benefit of you, dear viewers. Yes, thank you. We don't speak Swedish, but a lot of people in Sweden yeah. speak English. It's like such a sad thing, right? Because you think about these, anyone in Europe often can speak multiple languages. I know. was fairly good in maths. <laughs> um, I did take a math into the university levels, um, but then stopped going to university. Yeah. Because I just did, it wasn't for me. I was in computer um, computer science yeah. in university, obviously. Maybe not obviously. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that like I'm not. I, I'd say I'm like above average. I'm definitely no like we. I'd say above average as well to, for me too. But but like a lot of teaching when I, I maybe it's just because I'm more an artist. Right? They're the anti math almost. Yes. But yes. but my sister's a programmer and like so like we do talk like we do grow up like being a lot more um, holiday yes. This no. is holiday. Why is it? Yeah. Holiday by Madonna. Oh, yeah, shit, you're right. <laughs> this is 4K? This, this is unbelievable for Cork 4K. To have the music and the scaling, multicolored graphics going on and a scroller. It's unbelievable. And the, somebody said the font alone will eat up a lot of RAM. Yeah. Wrong. Because you have to, every letter, they've got every letter of the alphabet there. They have to program every letter in there, and it's like a byte for each row, and there's, on those it looks like there's like six or seven rows, yeah. so, you know, seven, seven bytes times 26, that's eating up a lot of your ROM yeah, dude, already. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So this is really quite impressive. And there are, this one placed first. In July 2018, at the uh, High Coast Hack, obviously in Sweden. Um, so yeah, a lot of there's hack competitions in Europe where they work on these all year and then release them at these parties. Man, there's some cool stuff in Europe. Upper and lower case. Oh, great. But they may have saved space by just not programming every letter because there's only a certain number of uppercase ones. Yeah. Like a little fluff. Oh, God. There you go. Thanks for That's the, the danger of facial of hair. We got it catches on things. Here. Especially with cats. And Paler says, I had a computer class in, in 1990, 1991. I worked with ancient uh, TA Alphatronic PCs. Never heard of them. I mean, neither. <laughs> Alphatronic. I was the uh, first, first PC I played around with was Windows 95. Yeah, you're late to the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I think we got a good idea of this one. Yeah, Iron Maiden and Madonna in the same the same show. Such hopefully, variety. Hopefully we don't get flagged in YouTube. I mean, we won't. Probably not, not like, because of this. But, that's uh, why I do play kind of uh, Sid tracks at the beginning of the show as well, because it's like, no, these, these are not claimed by anyone. These are right. so out there. And this is the spectrum that we go from, Iron Maiden to Madonna. These, <laughs> are, right. these are the two ends of... Yeah. Of, our, of our audience of the zero page homebrew wide, yeah <laughs> we're hitting all the, the, the democrats <laughs> that's right <laughs> okay so let's move on to um <laughs> back to the best music and sound although these demos if they were uh if they're eligible for those that's why they're in their own category because they yeah, just dude. destroy because they don't have to worry about input like joystick input or calculating random things, it's set. Every single time it's gonna do the exact same thing. So you don't have to waste a lot of if then. It's just like, no, just do it. Yeah. You know? uh, so we're back to this next one is Beware. It's right after Asteroid Rescue. Cool. Now this one is, I believe we did play this on the show at um, one graphics? point. Graphics? Am I wrong? Which one? Um, Which character? Music and sound. Music and sound. Cool. So let the intro play once you load it up. What, what did you say? Beware? Beware. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we don't want to fly by the music. No, no, no. Because that's all part. So this is done by Farrah Jana Zoltan, yet again. <laughs> you know, it's the first one, maybe I'm sure it's obviously not the first one, but I'm conscious of the dynamics. Like oh. popping one note and kind of like... Yep, there's uh, actually a volume setting, uh, yeah. thank God, on the 2600. 
Um, oh, how cold is it up there, James? Well, we are in a little tiny pocket of Dude. Canada that is totally separate from the rest of Canada. Yeah, we hug the border. We hug the border, and which is less of a factor than the water. That's right. Which temperates the weather here in Vancouver, because we're in Vancouver in Canada. And we range in temperature from about 0 to 20 throughout the year. That's right. Not much lower. Celsius. Not much higher. <laughs> Celsius. <laughs> so you do your own conversion. Um, sometimes it drops to the negatives, but Once it's so not the far. We didn't get any snow this year. That's right. There are tulips, or daffodils, blossoming. The trees are coming out <laughs> with their little flowers. It's the California of... Canada. We're down that. Honestly. Yeah, you'd follow down that coast and, you know. In a lot of ways, like, politics and everything. But the thing is, is, like, I'm from Alberta and Edmonton, and that's, like, minus. It gets down to minus 40. Yeah. Um, like, that's, it ranges from minus 40 to plus 30. Yeah. It's literally, like, a 70 degree Celsius range where, like, and it's insanity. Humans were not meant <laughs> no, to man. live in that. Okay, and, like, let's get on. You just don't do things when it's minus 40. So, you are the bees. Oh. You kill the dudes. Oh. Kill those dudes. Death. Do, you, do I just like run into them? Uh, yeah, you just run into them. What's going on? And the higher levels, you use the button. Now that's when you want to kill the other bees with the button. And you see those little markers on the left hand side? That's, I don't know what the button's doing though. It sends out that lightning bolt. But don't do it now. I don't, don't do it now. Okay. Now they're charged. We go down to the bees. There. There you go. Like that? Yeah. I just ran into them though. You don't want to run into those bees. They're killing you. Yeah, it's just weird. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> Do it. There you go. Ah, okay, cool. You got it. How does it charge? Where's the charge? I'm not sure exactly how it charges, but you can see when they're flashing colors, that's when they're charged up. So avoid the bees until it's flashing now. There you go. Oh, I missed it. one. Okay. Yeah. And so Okay, so dodge these guys, kill these guys. There, there we go. go. Kill one. I think there's two in that bunch. Or it's jumping. Now, I believe this was this is a port of a, another game based off of that 1983 Killer Bee. Yes, I don't know if it's an arcade. Okay, okay so I have to kill all the. Thing. Yeah, gotta kill everyone. Come oh, on. you're not charged up yet. I'm trying. To... There you go. I think it's just time. Ah, oh, cool. So I also gotta kill these guys. Great. And I believe how many bees you have left are designated by the dots in wow. your grouping. Why is he gone? Whoa, they just disappeared. What? Uh, invisible, James. Oh, no. Now you're in trouble. Oh, whoa. Uh, rip. Okay, okay. I think you've got an extra life because now you still have three. Oh, Killer Bees for the Magnavox Odyssey is where... Uh, oh, yeah. Odyssey 2. You see, like, you see how they're flashing? I'm trying to find some oh information God. on here. At least in 1983. Okay, I got one. I got, a, like, I got this blue guy. I, need faith I think blue. last time I looked this up, there was not a lot of information on this game. Yes! Oh, Killer B oh, Odyssey. I think I found. found something. You control a solitary swarm of good bees, trailed by a couple of handy ray guns on the same vertical axis. <laughs> Craziness. Dude, I'm so lucky that these bees found these ray guns. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Those ray guns on the left and right look almost exactly like the ghosts from... Um, oh, I got one. Lost the name of it. Uh, Gauntlet, when they're going sideways. Thank you, Impaler. Um, the game starts out with a bunch of dim-witted bee bots bumbling around the screen. Which you can sting with dude, your bee swarm. Dude, 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 check it out. See Whoa! What's out. Oh yeah, I remember making it to this last time. Death. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, it's getting angry. And some really great looking graphics in this game. Like huge graphics. And... Okay, he's starting to shoot some stuff. Whoa! Oh, no, Whoa! Come on, give me some... Give me some stuff. Some juice. Oh, I think you missed it. I, I, did, I got the thing he fired at me, oh, though, that's which important, is though. decent. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, dude, you see that? He's just like, as soon as you get underneath him, he just fires. Oh, oh does he? Yeah. Uh, oh, he does. So you got to go. You got to keep moving. Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. 
boss. Amen, brother. Still with the boss. Or you could be the boss. Um. Which you can sting with your bee swarm until the bot slow down finally expire mark for by a rather grim tombstone. This probably sounds easier enough. There are killer bees from outer space merging from hives Whoa. around the edge of the play area. I find these other bees are more dangerous, honestly. They are, yeah. Oh, like, God. Like, yeah. But they're bouncing around. They're not actually going after you. But, like... But they're hard to avoid. Yeah. Even though they are just... Like, bouncing. now there's two. Like, oh, like this is rippy is all belief. Ah, oh, oh. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, just give me that ray. Oh, what is that? Pass? I think I just That's killed fun. him. Yep. Oh, my God. I did it. The programmer moved on so fast, I wanted to make Game a Game beaten. Was that it? Game beaten. Is it over? Yeah. Press button. To... Oh, what is that? Oh, I guess it kind of starts over. Oh. The game's not... Oh no, it's like the game is start over. You beat the game. But I have like the same points. Oh, you do have the same points. BBB. Oh, this is something different. The game's not beating. Oh, now it resets. What? Did I just. Oh, I think I had like a bonus level and I. I don't know. <laughs> but. Oh, and you can just kill these guys by running yeah. into them and then blam. Okay, cool. So there is an end to this game. So that was. Good. That's really cool. Yeah, like, that's a cool concept, game. I mean, it is a port, so he didn't come up with the concept. But, uh, yeah, the music, it's up for music, so. Not really good music. Amazing He's always music. really good at music. Amazing music, man, for sure. If the programmer does all its two sprites, wait until he uses DPC plus BB with ten sprites. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next cool. demo. Which oh, we'll yeah. do on... Stella! Stella! This is, the next one is Hard 2632. And the big deal, of, you'll look at this and you'll go, uh, okay, that's it. Um, but when I explain it to you, you'll be like, oh, okay. Why is that still there? I gotta get that off of there. I can't seem to get off the background. I can't find which one it is. There Bam. we go. Good stuff. That's better. Much better. So this this demo is done in thirty two bytes, dude, and that's unbelievable because some instructions to tell the twenty six hundred are more than one byte. Some go up to like three bytes. I'm sure he didn't use any three, maybe just two two bytes, right? Yeah. So he did all of this in thirty two. I mean the graphics are. Mostly counting, just counting, right? Because those patterns um, are like one, yeah, you can see like one and then two, then four. The ones on the sides are not like that. 32 bytes, 32. This text is 32 bytes. <laughs> I suppose it says six bytes to initialize. Yeah, let me read a little wow. bit about this. Um, this is uh, hard 32. By Imp and Ollie. This demo is implemented in 32 bytes. Um, this is also up for um, best technical achievement. Wow. Because they also did this demo on that board. Every single dip switch is the instruction. Wow. Um, you can go to the web page. Yeah, somebody linked it. Thanks, thanks uh, Thrust, which is the web page I'm looking at. That's amazing timing, dude. Yeah. Wow, thanks, Thrust. Um, so cool, cool hardware, cool demo. It's like one of the smallest, it's not the smallest demos, but is one of the smallest demos that give a display. Uh, I think the smallest demo is also up for technical achievement award. I think it's like 16 bytes or something. Jesus. It displays a gray screen. <laughs> That's all it does. That's great. But it, it generates stable video output. Yeah. Which is like, that's, that's what it's the meant basics. To do. Yeah. Uh, so, six bytes to initialize leaves 26 to do all the rest. One of those is a jump to jump back and do it all over again. Another one is to increase a counter so that you can do the graphics. Um, and it has to place these graphics in multiple 
play field areas as well. So it has to do it in like one, two, three, and then also set it so it's a mirrored play field. So you can count these bytes as you go. It's like, yeah. has to do this, has to do this, has to do this. And then what, and then that you have very little left. So that's what the impressive part about this. It's really, really, it's really the limitation. tiny. Yeah. Um, okay. And I think we are out. That is everything that is new. Cool. For best music and sound, best graphics and best demos and best programming that we haven't already showed on the show. Wow. So we've caught up with that. And so the next episode, I believe, is technical achievement. Oh, we didn't do all the demos. We did half the demos because yeah. the next half of the demos are going to be for the next show. It makes sense. And the demos, yeah. you got to sprinkle those things through. You do. You can't just sure. go demo, demo, demo because it's we're just <laughs> yeah, sitting thrust here is immediately at it. on it. It's like, dude. <laughs> yes, some of them are missing, damn it. Well, I did say all the demos. You did, but no. We're, we're, half the demos because there's it. 10. There's yeah. 10 demos, so. We're halfway through the demos, and the next demos, the next five, will be on the Friday show. Perfect. Yes. That's Tanya, and, eh? Or is yeah. it Darcy? No. No, it's Tanya this week. Cool. And we will be doing technical achievement and uh, <laughs> hacks <laughs> as well. Fick All says the hacks. I still give this episode ten out of five. Interesting uh, uh, scoring out of it's five. Just I've it's seen sad. things scored out of five before. Yeah, That's I think it's common. just because it's so crazy. Yeah, it was cats and it's phone calls so... and I'd answer an email and we had to do stuff on Stella. It's and... great, though. It's insanity, but it's fun. I love Once it. in a while, you know, a little chaos is fun. We will uh, be planning... No chaos for the award show. No. There'll be no interruptions. Nothing Base punches. Yeah, with people showing up on stream. Talking, talking about punching faces. faces. Yeah, we forgot about that part. It's so great. They came in, they punched some faces, and they left. It's a Q plus <laughs> for me. Definitely. Oh, if not two pluses. Two Q plus plus. Yeah. Correct. I mean, yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm not if, fun in here trying to mitigate the madness yeah it's crazy man because like yeah i think his streams probably get more popular you get more and more trolls probably i don't know if he was a troll i, I think he was confused confused he was a confused young man <laughs> confused young man the question <laughs> that we all want to know is who was gonna punch who 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 is who, yeah, is, who the, is the puncher am i the, the punchy are I, they were they punching us or, or did they want me to punch james or james to punch me we'll never know are they looking for people to punch, punch. like Oh, yes. And also, I um, ordered one of these for myself. <laughs> Not that I'm awarding it to myself, but I want it. Because after I give them out. They're gone. They're it's gone. Like a token. I'm like, okay, I have a picture of it, but here's my award. What's it saying? For doing the show. It says, I'm oh, going to have my face. It's okay, I'll cover your face. No, I got it. It just says zero page homebrew. It, it could say best um, Atari 2600 homebrew stream. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm the only one who just does homebrew. Yeah. There is no other one, so I'm the winner by default. Um, so th I, I I wanted one to to keep because I just love the design. Well, yeah, and it's, so you're gonna cool. spend all this time to to get them all done. Oh it's, my it's, god, it's yeah. good thing you thought about that. That's the kind of thing I totally wouldn't think about, and just they'd be gone, and I'd be like, well, that oh, was no. a that was a cool thing <laughs> that happened. And I have pictures. Now but it's gone. Some things you have to remember in your head. Some things you have pictures of. Some things you have. You know, physical objects. Correct. From, some people don't like keeping physical objects. Yeah. From things they've done, they just like no. I am like that Netflix show. That's right. You know, They're get rid of everything in your life. A wind. Pair it down. I just blow. You know, some people have like three, three, three outfits and a laptop, and they roam the world, and that's Correct. all they need to do their work. And they can just go from city to city. Not gonna lie, that <laughs> world sounds appealing to me. That would be it's that liberating. Would, that would be more of an Ireland style for sure. Like that kind of living is is definitely cool. Like right now, my yeah. Greek roommate's mother's living with us, and we have people rotating in and out of the house oh. who are Greek, yelling at each other in a language <laughs> yeah. I can't understand. In Greek, no. and I'm it, literally Greek. <laughs> it's Greek to me, mm. and like. And I'm just like, yeah, it's, 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 I'm like, I'm, I'm like in it's a chaos. youth hostel. Oh, gosh. Basically, yes. at this point, 
but I don't mind. So actually having a laptop and roaming... Just take off, At right? least I wouldn't have to listen to these, these Greek people. Yelling, like, it's... It's, it's bad when there's yelling, and it's worse when you can't understand the yelling. And it's aggressive language, like... Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, I was just saying hi. And you're like, what? <laughs> How? What? Ah, traumatized. What world is this? Um, uh, but I'm, I'm more like that uh, woman, hunched over a woman from Labyrinth. Yeah. Have you seen that movie? I have not seen okay, Labyrinth. I, I have seen Labyrinth, but I haven't seen it in years. I couldn't Okay, like. well, it's it's an experience. Um, it's got See, David I've Bowie, so that's a super... I do remember it's David got Bowie's... Jennifer Connelly. Uh... Yes, <laughs> package, <laughs> as it's referred to. But it's, right. a fun, it's a fun little movie. I don't know if it holds up nowadays, but there's definitely some fun singing in it. There's Muppets. Can't go wrong with Muppets. Jim Henson's Yeah, dude, stuff. Jim Henson's... But there's a character in it that is preventing her from her goal yeah and the way this character prevents her is like by weighing her down with uh memorabilia from ah, her life yes like, oh look it's your teddy <laughs> don't you want to you know hold your teddy it's like, oh yeah my teddy mm. i love my teddy and then all of a sudden she's, she's just burdened with oh, all this man. stuff and this woman has like this big junk pile that she carries around with her and that's who I am. Yes. Because if you look, if you could see, I have stuff everywhere. Like all these video games. I've, I've said this on stream before, but I'll yeah. say it again. The difference between a hoarder and a collector is the collector's organized. <laughs> that's true. Everything so has it's a organized. Shelf. So you're you're a collector. Is yes. what you are. Yeah, one step from hoarder. <laughs> but I have like newspaper clippings from all my accomplishments I've done. Like everything. Yeah. I've kept everything. Photos, video. But I, I keep it organized and in shelves and in boxes and stuff. But it's I'm the at opposite. some point I'm very little. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, I, I would like to be like that. Yeah. But I can't be like that. I have to keep these things. They're just so awesome. That's to, right. But I but I but I also don't go back and go. Oh, I remember this and this. I don't wallow yeah. in memorabilia. I like having it and I like looking at it once in a while, but not like pouring over it because you're wasting the time you have now yeah i like making memorabilia totally like, like this show and doing the award show and i'll have that thing but it'll still it'll just sit on a shelf amongst you know other things that i like but it's you know? important i had we had a family friend who would videotape everything that was yeah. what he did he would always videotape and i like his house is yeah. just like there's thousands of tapes mm. and I, I i told them i said if you know that's what i've got over there <laughs> morbidly i'm like if, if anything ever happens because he's an older gentleman i would love uh. to make a film that just is like from all of his crazy footage and he would just be this guy who would just be, he'd be behind the camera tinkering and you'd be like come like join the but conversation he be part of anything no he's always he was always the cameraman in his life you know he and sacrificed his life for you know the benefit of others that's to, right. to keep that you know it's like a parable almost you know and it's just like uh, he, he's he's so quick he wants to capture the moment that he actually forgets to live it which that's is such a, sa a sad in, thing, right? That's those people in concerts yeah. that hold up their cell phone and they stare at the cell phone the whole time. That's right. They never see the concert and they never watch that piece of garbage recording Correct. again. Correct. That's like this. It's vertical. The sound is garbage because the, the decibels are too high for the it's tiny like microphone. And it's overblown because the, ca the, the camera is terrible. And it goes too dark, and it's wishy-washy and super grainy. Yeah, and it's like you're you're taking a terrible recording. There's somebody else that did way better than you. That's correct. Recording it, watch it later. Same thing it's when terrible. I when I went to see. I finally I got to see the Mona Lisa when I was like a teenager, and it was like it was just hordes of cameras. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, this is the most photographed image in the universe, mm. practically. Like, there's no, there was no, like yeah. I guarantee you, you can JPEG, you can Google a, a JPEG. It's gonna be, be thousands of them. from but, every angle, but everyone's every like, resolution. I want to have my yeah, thing. To prove but, I was there. But the irony is it. If you don't put yourself in the photo, I guess there's more selfies now. Yeah. People would do selfie. But before that, it would just be a picture of the Mona Lisa. It's totally. Like, how would you even know it's yours if you put 20 of them in front of you? Say, pick yours out. Uh, I don't know. I remember I, I just pushed through the crowd. I got through the front and I just like sat there and I just like watched it and looked at it. And I had to try to have a moment of being like, okay. Yes. Yeah. And then I left and I was like, done. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
But that's the whiz I can't toss I, any of my VHS. I suppose says I can't touch it, toss any of my VHS because somewhere there's me on the local news. My cousin has an extra in primetime TV drama. So you got to digitize those. That's right. Put in a VCR, hook it up to your computer. You have to buy a little piece of hardware. Yes. But they're really cheap nowadays, especially for SD. SD so uh, level video, super cheap. Digitize it, put it on a hard drive, put on two hard drives. Correct. And one out of your house, you're done. T yeah. Toss those VHSs, because that's what I'm going to be doing soon, is I have a full closet full of VHS and DV tapes and Hi8 tapes, and I'm going to dump them. I've dumped a lot of it, and then I can toss them, because the actual, it's the things on them that's right. that I want to remember and keep. It's not the actual tape itself, because that tape meant nothing. I'm sure this, you know, Sony VHS tape that barely plays, and it's going to degrade. Yeah. Like, get it off there soon. Yeah, with thrust previous they only made fun out of uh, Japanese tourists, but today you can make fun of me. Yeah, <laughs> for or, my hoarding. Yeah, and it's the other thing that's weird. Like I um I noticed too that like I started a like an Instagram thing where I wanted to take photos that had there were no no food, no selfies of me, and no like documenting of my life. So Just, it's more about restrictions. Yeah, and I was like, what would this force me to photograph? And I was like, oh, this is interesting because I look at a lot of these things and it's so, majority of the photos on the internet are of like documenting an event that somebody yes. went to yes. of like um, a selfie of them Yes. and of like uh, food. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Just like the, a lot if, of food. And I was like, what happens if you eliminate these these yeah, these things? Left? But it's but it's interesting. It's more like people are now making almost video essays of their life, you know? They are. They've, they've you know, taken to the next level. But the representation becomes more important than the experience, which I think is, is probably a big mistake. I think the experience needs to come first. But yes, but documenting's inter uh, important too, so correct. you can look back on it when you're... 80 and can't get out of the house and absolutely <laughs> and can't do any of these things like oh that's all you have left is your memories um anyway we're getting i don't even know how this is we this is the greatest stream of all time this remotely is my, related this is my to, favorite zero when well, people are telling us things it's yeah. all good we got, i photograph red green and blue things all together on top of each other so it makes color <laughs> yeah it just means <laughs> <laughs> so. it's so great uh anyway thanks for tuning in uh we'll be back on friday at 6 p.m. Uh, with Tanya after her work. Cause she, she's not a bum like us. That's right. She has a real job. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we'll be playing um, the hacks, the rest of the demos, and the Technical Achievement Awards. Yeah. And so we'll explain a little bit more in depth about the Technical Achievements and why they're on that list. And it, it's pretty impressive, some of that stuff. So thanks for hanging out. Yeah. And, Ice and Post and Paler. Thrust and Ground yeah. Trooper and Mr. Mr. Fix. Fix. And there's Dan ABC. People punching faces. You know, yeah. there's great stuff. Who was that dude? Let's see. Azure? Oh, I didn't see you come in. I yeah, was out of the room, I guess. Uh, who's the fun the face puncher? Let's get that name that was, in there that as well. That was so good. That was, that was Pac-Man Red, Red was also here. Oh, Gilby in. Moore. That's... Who was, who was punching Gail, faces. Gail and they exited on the statement of, oops, it's my wrong, bad, wrong, wrong channel. channel. Wonder that's what that's they... that's gonna be like I'm gonna print that on my tombstone. That's gonna be that's gonna be my tombstone. <laughs> Oops, wrong channel. Oops, my bad, wrong <laughs> channel! Exclamation <laughs> mark. Off to the right channel. In now. memory of Erlen. <laughs> like, like I like what what Twitch stream was he watching that involved face punching? Was it some sport? Was it like some? video of somebody oh. going around in public like that's, with their cell phone punching that's why faces? it's the greatest or it's just like it's some crazy. some like 13 year olds like you know being like oh you're gonna punch blah 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 come on punch, punch me you. punch me do it i dare you punch me yeah then they found themselves on on, on zero page homebrew <laughs> yeah just bled over somehow they they mistyped zero punch homebrew <laughs> yeah they're looking for zero punch and they're like, come on, punch him. No, we're zero punch, dude. No punches are being thrown. But why do you call it punch if you're not going to punch? It's ripping me off. Come at me, bro. That's right. No, it's zero punch. We're not punching. There's only the thread of punching. That's right. Someone finally does it. Ugh. Bam. Why'd you punch me? <laughs> were you is... been telling me to punch me for... That's so funny. It's the... 
<laughs> yeah, the zero punch homebrew it's experience. It's the anticipation of the punch. That's it's right. the savoring of the moment before the punch. They looked at their That's... analytics. It all <laughs> dropped off after the punch, well, bro. We got to we got to they... string the punch out. Of course. <laughs> I mean, once you punch, there's nothing to see. There's it's, nowhere to it's go. It's the lead up to the once punch. Once Jim and Pam become a couple, there's no more show. <laughs> it falls <laughs> off. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's that lead up. It's you know that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's it's all about writing. It's the writing. That's right. It's the pull through. Thanks for hanging out today. Yeah. It's yeah. been great. <laughs> it's, been, it's been insane. Sometimes you need insanity. Yes. So love it. Bye bye.